I'm on here just to rant. It's kind of chilly, just a little bit, but it's not so crazy. Um, yeah, do you, did you guys watch that? Will and Jada, if you haven't watched, please just look for that clip somewhere. Red Table Talk, uh, Will and Jada, and um, they talked about their marriage. Oh my God, it was so fantastic. I wish and I hope everybody watches it. And that's probably why I'm talking about it. Wow, that will decided and they decided in their marriage that they're not gonna say anything negative i understand about personalities there's some personalities that god's just given them a gift of positivity that when they look at the world they just look and see positive things they love to dance they love to talk um they love fun this is just a particular personality but not all personalities are actually like that these are the personalities that are very analytical the guys are very analytical when they look at something because they have such an analytical mind they um tend to look at stuff from a, a critical perspective and that's how they talk it, if you don't understand this you're gonna be very frustrated especially if these two personalities meet and they're trying to have a relationship or a conference a conversation one personality is looking at you know the details the critical things and they just want to build on they want to work on stuff but they're looking at it from a negative perspective but the other personality is fun loving just love to love and um just love to laugh and at something in a positive uh, perspective but you know what as, as as a as a believer and as a person who loves to uh, pray you know and I believe in God and you know I just I'm just thinking that the Lord God is such a positive person and he created the world with words and words are so 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 important so even if he's given you a gift of being analytical and critical just so that you can find the pitfalls of things and build and create and bring solutions to those things you need to learn how to speak and see the good in everything else too and talk in a positive manner you know and have conversations with people and you can be able to see what's right and what's good with them I, I i just had to say this was such a powerful powerful conversation between a husband and a wife and you know like a, their whole family on how they cut out being um very you know critical saying negative words and uh, you know just having that respect and honor in their relationships I wish all parents c can watch this because dreams die just because the people that you love some people just are so they can speak such poison out of their mouth and such negativity and speak such negative words into your soul and into your spirit and you can literally you know your spirit can re really be uh, affected by by very negative words and i wish all parents could understand that and even people in relationships and marriages i personally had to cut off and actually what happened i had to cut off some relationships and it's not like it was out intentionally for me to cut off these relationships i'm so sorry there's an alarm um that you can hear that okay it's, it's gone <laughs> It's not intentionally that I had to cut out these relationships, but I realize if you, um, you know, like you're a believer and you are um, a, a person that in specific times and periods of your life, you like to meditate. When you go into these meditations or prayer or worship or whatever periods, when it's so intense, when a person who's negative or have negativity in their heart comes towards you in those particular times, you can't you you can't take it in. I I realize that for myself, and I have never looked with these specific relationships that I let me have positivity let me just leave i want to grow i want to be built let it be constructive um conversations with positive words you know i want to be celebrated who doesn't want to be celebrated i want to be celebrated too in my life because i celebrate you 
I love you. You know, I, I do care about you. I, I'm careful about what I'm saying. And if I say the wrong things, uh, you know, I'm repentant about that. Not, not, you know, I want to grow too. So, you know, yeah. So please, if you haven't watched that conversations, conversation between Jada and well, at the red table, please go back and watch that it's it's gonna be such helpful and please implement implement that into your own life and relationships and if you're not able to do that as i said go just go into um prayer and go into god and just spend spend a period of time with him if you if you're the kind of person that likes to spew out and see um, the negative before you see the positive um, you know because you just have such an analytical mindset spend time with God and you will see clearly you'll be more sensitive you'll see clearly and you'll start cutting out that stuff thank you so much and I hope you have fun yeah yeah Will and Jada